hi guys welcome to my channel on this video i want to talk about my recent purchase from gucci i have the gucci bags in the background <laughs> as decoration i guess but yeah i placed an order online for uh some gucci loafers that i've been wanting now for a very long time I finally pulled the trigger uh, I don't normally spend this much on shoes but after careful consideration and some research I decided to go along and purchase these loafers because you know it's something that I would get a lot of use from like uh, I wanted to get something that I would know you know use on a daily basis and that would be like flat shoes you know flats it's something that I would use for um, yeah a lot of occasions so these loafers are a classic for Gucci they have a very long history um, you know Gucci is known for their loafers so I really wanted to uh, have the experience of the Gucci loafer and see for myself um, how they perform how they are I've been watching so many videos here on YouTube of people reviewing their um, Gucci loafers and a lot of them are talking about you know having them for five years or ten years and stuff so yeah that really got me thinking about you know it would be more like an investment instead of like a purchase where I really get my money's worth because they last a really long time so hopefully cross fingers that is the case with these shoes and they last a long time and so yeah I want to experience see if it's worth it or not I got so yeah I got these white um, Braxton for reference, I'm normally a size 8 when I purchase flats, uh, you know, whether it be ballerina flats, uh, sneakers, I usually get a size 8, but for these, I ended up getting a size 7 and a half, or in Italy, size would be like a 37 and a half. And uh, these fit me perfectly because the size 8 I actually tried them on and they were way too big like I can fit my entire finger in the back and when I walked they were they would slide off so I ended up going with the seven and a half and these fit perfectly um, they do fit a little bit snug here on the foot area like the toe area but um, these, since it's leather, and especially these white ones, which are the Brixton, they're softer leather. They're going to stretch significantly, and so there isn't an issue with that. Um, it's going to stretch. Uh, I just recently got these, so I really... Um, uh, can't say if it's stretched or not because I just got them but yeah these are the Braxton's and I have been lusting over these for the longest time I just think they are so chic I can see myself wearing this with like mainly with like an all black outfit and then just these white loafers that would look so chic but yeah I got these and I also went ahead and wanted to get like a simple classic black loafer and so I got the Jordan I decided to go with the Jordans because um, the leather is a lot stiffer and uh, yeah I wanted to see what's the differences like um, as far as comfort and longevity you know what's the difference between the Jordan and the Brixton um, obviously 
the noticeable difference is the leather like on the Bristis is softer and and also uh, the Brixton gives you the it gives you the variety where you can put these down like this end part and fold it down and it actually has like a stitching here it has this stitching so that you can if you want you can fold them and use them as like um like a sandal but i to be honest i do not see myself doing that with the loafers i just want to wear them as loafers and see how they perform and these are just like more traditional loafers where the leather is a little bit stiffer um these uh these do not have the stitching here on the side and yeah the interior is um, brown as opposed to the interior on these white ones is black the sizing on the Jordans I also had to size down on the Jordans because they were also very big so on both of these shoes I had to size down a half a size my feet are mostly like regular uh, maybe leaning towards the narrow side but yeah uh, I suggest to go to the store and try them out um, because it's really tricky with the sizing but to stay safe I would say go half a size down than your normal size especially if you have like just normal um, with feet now if you do have wide feet I would suggest sticking with your regular size or maybe going up half a size but if you have just a regular like medium with feet I suggest going half a size down um, but yeah I'm really happy, really excited with these purchases. I just got these shoes. Uh, this is actually not my first time uh, getting this order. I actually ordered uh, these pairs uh, in the past and I had to return and make an exchange because it came like defected and just not perfect the way I like it. So. That is an advice that I give anybody that's purchasing, uh, especially luxury items, because you spend so much money on your items, you want to make sure that it's absolutely in perfect, good condition. And yeah, I really, you know, you wanna make sure that everything is fine, uh, especially the sole, you can really tell if it has been used or not, because it is leather and it scratches up so easily so that is a good way um, another thing is like the stitching here in the end is um, the other pair that I got like it was a little bit open I guess you can say but this one's like stitched and there isn't any gap you know it's like really nice and yeah and this is described as white but it's not really white it's more like an off-white color it's not you know completely white even the um, even the stitching is not white it's more like a grayish color it almost looks like it has like a distress type of look because of the the stitching is not white and I think that's what makes these loafers a little bit more modern is that it has that dis distressed look to them. Now the Jordans, they just look absolutely perfect. Like this is like, th there is anything, they look absolutely perfect. And yeah, that's what I like to look at is the sole of the shoe to make sure and also the interior um, these crease really easily here 
in um, here in the front so uh, another way to know if somebody used your shoe before purchasing is to see if there's any crease in this area and uh, that means that you know the shoe that you bought probably was used by several other people you know they try them on and use them around the store so that's something to avoid um, but these look absolutely brand new um, so yeah I just wanted to stop by uh, talk about the sizing a little bit and some tips on purchasing luxury items because we have to um, be careful just because it's luxury does not mean we have to accept something that might be defective or um, not in the greatest condition so yeah always look carefully I am very um, particular especially when it comes to designer and uh, more luxury items I want them to be perfect um, and if they do become you know dirtier it's because of me not because you know the store or you know it came from the store I want them to um, get those battle wounds from living with me <laughs> but yeah that was my haul slash tips on the Gucci loafers Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. See you on my next video. Bye!